guys so there are multiple ways to making your nigerian stew and in today's video we're going to be giving one of the method a try my name is ogechi welcome to my channel <laughs> so my darlings i've seen lots of food bloggers make their stew using this method and today i have decided to give it a try so first thing first wash up all the things you normally use for your nigerian stew i I'm using tomatoes, horsecotch bonnet, some garlic, ginger, bell pepper, and some onions. All has been washed and prepped. Now dash everything into the baking pan, drizzle some oil, and put that in the oven. Allow the oven to do its magic, okay? Bake it as long as you are comfortable with baking. I think I baked mine for too long. You can see it's looking too brown, but that will not stop us from making this stew, okay? Now pop in the blender and blend everything, okay? So guys, after blending, this is what mine is looking like. As you can see, I overbaked mine. Don't make the same mistake on yours, okay? <laughs> and now I put that in the bowl and toss it in the fridge. Now, this is the following morning. I went ahead to put my meat of choice in my pan. I'm using chicken and beef. Season with some onions and your favorite seasonings and herbs. I used seasoning cube, salt, thyme, curry powder, some rosemary, and some ginger and garlic. I put everything in the meat and I went ahead to stir this thoroughly. Okay, guys, don't miss the step. Go ahead to mix everything making sure that all the seasonings are evenly distributed on the meat okay now that it's totally combined i went ahead to cover the pot and allow the meat simmer down with its own natural juice and then i top up more water to bring it to my desired tenderness and to properly cook the meat and my meat has gotten to my desired tenderness i went ahead to take it out of the water don't forget to save your meat broth because we are gonna need it for later now guys this is our meat straining out its water you can bake your meat grill it or fry it or you can just use it as it is without doing anything to it i love mine fried so in another pot i've added some oil i chopped up some onions and dash it onto the oil and allow the oil and the onions to simmer down allowing the onions to disintegrate its flavor in the oil that will give us another flavor to the meat okay i fried my meat till it gets my desired color and i took it out of the pan now guys in another pan i strained out the oil from frying my meat now guys you don't want to miss this step because it's going to add an in-depth flavor to your stew okay and once that simmered down again i added more ginger and garlic because well why not <laughs> you can't get enough of it okay and i added some onions i stir fried the onions for about two minutes allowing it to disintegrate its flavor into the oil then i I went ahead to add my tomato blend and then I continued to stir fry. I was turning this at 5 minutes interval at this stage. Now guys, this is 30 minutes into frying our tomatoes. Now you want to keep a closer eye on it because it's getting a bit dried and it can burn really quick. Now you can be turning it at a minute interval. Guys, this is about 45 minutes into frying these tomatoes and I can see that it's ready. So once the oil starts separating from the rest of the paste you know that your tomatoes is ready i went ahead to add my meat broth okay and i added my meat back into the pan and i gave them a good stir now taste and adjust your seasonings if needed depending on how thick you like your stew you can go ahead to top up more water stir again cover the pot and allow that to simmer down for five more minutes and your baking method of making nigerian stew 
is ready so tell me on the comment section if you have made your nigerian stew using this method and if you haven't are you gonna give this method a try and i will also tell you if you haven't given this method a try you are also not missing a lot of things because i didn't really see anything that is too fantastic about baking your tomatoes before making your stew <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Do take care of yourself. Bye guys.